Hi, happy Saturday. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm here with another Saturday story. If you're new to my channel, I'm Shiva here, a trainer, author, and motivational speaker. I am on a mission to reach out to a million people, inspiring them to succeed more and achieve greater in their life. Through my books, blogs, articles, trainings, and videos. If you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Do you know what Dr. Abdul Kalamji did on his last day of his life? Delivered uh, his address at I am Shillong? No, I'm not talking about it. It's something different. You must know this. It's very important that you and I and all of us remember what this man did on that day and learn from it. That day on 27th July 2015, Dr. Kalamji was going from Guwahati to Shillong. On his way, there was a convoy of six to seven vehicles and Dr. Kalamji and his assistant were there in the second vehicle in that convoy. And there was a jeep ahead of the car with three soldiers in it. Two of them were sitting and one lean, lanky guy was standing there with a rifle in his hand. An hour into the journey, Kalamji felt very bad looking at the young man standing in the hot sun. So he asked the assistant, why is he standing like that? Poor fellow, why is he standing like that? Then his assistant told him, sir, it might be due to the protocol and for extra security, he might have been instructed to stand like that. That's why he is standing. No, 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 that's not correct. He should not be standing. He will be tired. So please see that some message is sent to him so that that man can sit down. His assistant tried um, doing it, but it didn't work out. And Kalamji did not relent. He was feeling so restless seeing that young man standing in the hot sun. So he asked this man to give some kind of hand signal or something to make him sit. It did not work. They reached Shillong and Kalamji immediately asked the assistant to go and uh, you know see that this man comes and meets Kalamji. His assistant went around, inquired to the security people and somehow got hold of this man, and brought him to the room where Kalamji was uh, staying. And as this man entered the room, Kalamji greeted him. Kalamji thanked him. Oh, young man, I'm really sorry you had to stand like that because of me. You must have been very tired. Would you like something to eat? And that gentleman said, no, sir, I'm not tired, sir. And aapke liye do gante kya? Che gante bhi khade rahenge. That's how people loved him. Because he loved people. And he was compassionate about people. What is happening presently in our country is very painful. Thousands and thousands of migrant workers lost their livelihoods due to this COVID lockdown. They don't have enough food to eat. Though there were some government agencies, some NGOs, some private firms, some voluntary communities trying their best to offer some food to these people, still thousands of people don't have enough to eat. And they lost their hope and they started walking back to their native places. Hundreds of kilometers they were walking back on the roads, some people on the railway tracks with their belongings on their head and with their children in their waist. I received other day in the WhatsApp a photograph of a migrant worker, his feet totally soiled with cracks all around, totally dry. Oh my God. That's heartbreaking to see. Fellow Indians going through such a pain. I'm asking myself, what is it that I can do at this point in time? How can I reach out to them? How can we reach out as a government, as 
a group of people, as a community, as a society, as individuals, how could we reach out to see that these people are helped? I would like to leave this thought with you. It is time for us to be more humane, to be more compassionate to fellow human beings and to help them in whatever the way we can. Thank you very much for being with me on this Saturday and for watching this video. See you again next Saturday with another Saturday story. In the meantime, take good care of yourself. At the same time, see what you could do in order to help those fellow citizens in your own way. Thank you very much. I wish you success. I wish you safety. And remember, you are awesome.